Hello folks, how are you all? Have you had a fabulous weekend? Let me uh, get you guys up on here so that I can have a chat with you. How was your weekend? What did you get up to? Um, what exciting things have you been doing? I know it was a little bit drizzly this weekend, so it wasn't great weather. Um, but I actually managed to dodge some of that weather um, this weekend, which was very exciting. <laughs> um, so I managed to dodge it and have a little bit of a barbecue, which was lovely, which was really nice. Um, what else did we do this weekend? Oh, apart from my um, usual family quiz on Saturday as well, which was great. Um, we had a women's circle on Friday night um, as part of Arty Farty Retreat and uh, Dot, um, who is just fabulous at holding the space. And it was really well needed, I think, on Friday. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but like I have not been sleeping at all um, over the weekend or over the last few days, really. Um, and whether that's something to do with the full moon or just what's going on in the world um, or what, I'm not sure. I um, kind of suffer with a little bit of insomnia anyway. Um, so yeah, so it's been a bit of a strange one. So the women's circle was absolutely wonderful on Friday. Um, just a group of women supporting each other just so amazingly. Um, and then Saturday morning, we had our first workshop as part of the Arty Farty community, um, the online community group. That was fabulous. Um, so good. So good to see people kind of taking the time out and embracing their creativity. Uh, it was really good, really good workshop. And again, you know, people so supportive of each other. Um, so it's been, it's been a good weekend. It's been lovely. Um, so we're going to do charcoal this week. So welcome to, uh, welcome to charcoal. So this is going to be a fun one today. Um, it is messy. <laughs> I warn you now, charcoal is extremely messy. Um, let's get you guys in here so I can chat to you. Um, yeah, really, really messy. So, um, I hope you've got some kind of like kitchen towel or, uh, some kind of, uh, paper or something that you can wipe hands with as we go because it is it is lovely and messy. Um, who have we got? Who have we got? Hi Vicky, nice to see you, nice to see you. Hi Lynn, how are you doing? You did some art this weekend, yes. Um, hi Sue, hi Cheryl, hi Dad, how are you doing? Excellent stuff. Um, Cheryl, you just watching today? No problem at all, no worries. Um, you need to get yourself some charcoal, yeah great fun I do like working with charcoal um it is lovely it's just it's so much um softer than than anything that you would get with um like pencils or anything like that that can be really quite harsh um and of course being softer although I'm doing a small piece today you can do like massive massive pieces um and they don't take as long as perhaps they would do with uh, a pencil um, or anything else. So yeah, charcoal is lovely. It's lovely to work with. So hello, Joe. Joe's joins us as well. Um, what else were you say? So, oh, did anybody do the weekend challenge? I know a couple of you did, and I'm so so grateful for you for doing those. Um, there were some fantastic uh, kind of emulations of of black female artists' work. Um, some gorgeous ones. So thank you for those who joined in with the weekend challenge. It was it was really good to see. Um, so what are we doing today? So we're going to do a lamp post today. Now, which I know doesn't necessarily sound very exciting, um, but <laughs> hopefully by the end of this, it will be. So the reason we're doing this one today is that we're going to kind of cover most of the paper in the charcoal. So there won't be that much white space left. Um, but what we're really going to focus on is bringing that kind of that light um, out to the darkness. So we're going to look at that kind of shading um, with what we're working with today. So I'm going to drop you guys down so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. And we're going to draw like an old fashioned lamp. Um, so, you know, like an, uh, it always reminds me of um, Line the Witch and the Wardrobe. Always reminds me of that with Mr. Tumnus. Um, hiding out under the uh, under the lamppost. So that's the kind of lamppost that we're going to do today. Now, it's quite simple and quite easy to do this kind of shape. So what we're going to do is draw the lamppost first before we do anything else. So all I'm going to do is draw, and this does not have to be straight at all, as you can see with mine. And I'm just using the very, very corner of my charcoal piece. 
So I've kind of wonky square like that. And then to make it 3D, we're just gonna bring another one in here and bring that up. And then these kinds of uh, lampposts often have a, a kind of lid on them where all the lamp lighters used to go and light them up for the evening. So the lids often were quite ornate actually. You look at some of these old lampposts. So we're gonna go quite dark with our charcoal here. So hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna put a couple of little blobs here on the top that will just be, I'm gonna tap that off as well, making it look quite ornate. This is literally just a couple of blobs on the top. Okay. Now, in order to make this look 3D kind of in the glass, what I'm gonna do is use some of the charcoal to almost give the underside. And I'm just very, very lightly, I actually use a little bit more than that. smudging that with my finger and then I'm going to draw that line back over the top okay so hopefully you guys can see that because obviously our lamp is glass so it's nice and see-through so I'm going to go the the bottom bits now of our lamp and again I'm just gonna put a couple of decorative bits on the bottom there and then come down to our Lamp. Now again, the, the actual lamp posts were, were generally quite decorative. So I'm going to um, add in a couple of blobs as we go. I'm just gonna bring that all the way down to the bottom there. So I will hold that up so you guys can see it, but essentially what I've done is drawn almost like little arrowheads along the just the top part of that pole. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so that's our general outline of our lamp post, and then this is where the fun starts. This is where we can get nice and messy. So I'm actually going to uh, switch to a slightly different piece of charcoal, um, a bigger piece of charcoal. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of different pieces of charcoal here. And what we're going to do is work from the inside to the outside, but I'm going to start about here. Okay, and then I'm literally just going to draw around. Whoop. So I have to be careful that my paper doesn't go everywhere. And then kind of go heavier and more of it towards the outside. Now, if you want to, you can actually use the side of your charcoal as well. So you get a nice, there we go. Especially for these kind of bigger wire bits at the bottom here. Okay. So this one is going to be a really nice messy one. Okay. So you can use the side of your charcoal as well. And then obviously the darker bits that we want, you can use the, uh, the point of your charcoal to get more onto the page. So this is where your hands are going to get extremely nice and messy. So using a finger, we're gonna go from here. And I'm literally, and you can notice that I am smudging this post as well, where I'm gonna go back over that. I'm gonna to smudge towards the outside. And we can really, really smudge this. Now, the trick with charcoal, because I think when people start off using charcoal, is that they don't make it dark enough where it's supposed to be dark. So there's not enough contrast in uh, from the, the light to dark. It's not enough contrast. <laughs> this is where I get fingerprints all over it as well. Okay, so this is stage one. So hopefully you guys can see that, we'll hold it up. So this is stage one. But now what we need to do is make those outside bits even darker even even darker 
So again, getting my charcoal, I'm really going for it on the edge. It might be that actually I don't smudge that bit so that I keep it really, really dark. Even darker. You know, and also there's a few, few gaps in here that I think were missed slightly. So again, really blend it in. It doesn't matter if you've got a few kind of lines in there as well. Really doesn't matter. I should have taped this into position. Sliding all over the place. So we can get the really, really dark bit and get lots of contrast. How are we getting on? <laughs> oh, somebody else has joined us. Hi, Angie, joining us. Uh, Lynn, you're not happy with the shape of your lamp. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do not worry. As you can see, I'm smudging most of my lamp as we're going along. So really do not worry about it. This is, uh, this is about giving the impression of the lamp. This is about having fun with the charcoal. So this is really letting go with it. Try attempting not to get fingerprints all over it here as well. So this is stage two where we really start darkening those edges, darkening those corners. <laughs> Do not worry about the shape of your lamp, Lynn. It's all about playing with the charcoal. There we go. I'm trying to hold this in places where I'm not going to get so many uh, fingerprints. Okay, so again, at the end of stage two, we're just going to use our fingers to smudge that charcoal and get rid of all those fingerprints that I've managed to put on there as well. And we can start to bring it in a little bit as well into the, uh, into the center of the lamp. There we go, that's a bit better, it's a bit darker going on. How are you guys getting on? You okay? Don't give up, Lynn. Don't give up. <laughs> okay, can we see how much darker that is at the end of stage two? Let's hold that up a little bit so you guys can see. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot, lot darker on those outer, um, outer pieces of the paper away from the lamp. But it's still not quite dark enough in these corners. So, again, I'm gonna be using my charcoal and I'm gonna hold it somewhere in the middle here so that I don't, I can turn it. And then I'm gonna go in with, just directly in with the charcoal and really blacken that bit that I want to be the absolute darkest. So it's mainly in the corners, to be honest, of the paper. It's mainly in the corners. Really, really darken it. And then what I'm gonna do is just smudge slightly up to the charcoal, but don't smudge the corners so that we keep those bits as the darkest bits. How are we doing? And <laughs> Angie, I'm sure mine doesn't. You need to post a picture of yours so we can see it at the end. <laughs> so all this is about, it's mainly just about playing, to be honest. So don't worry. Do not worry about it looking awful. <laughs> Lynn, I'm sure your lamp is gorgeous. There we go. So I'm going to try and <laughs> keep my fingers away from the edges as well. So I'm just smudging into the dark charcoal that I've drawn, but trying not to smudge right the way to the corner. So we still have those really nice dark bits. There we go, that's better. I'm happier with that now. So can you see how we've gone from having a kind of bland, mediocre sort of gray, and then we've gone from having that really big contrast. 
So the next stage of this, just move some of this charcoal away from my work area, there we go. The next stage of this is just working a little bit into the middle there. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a huge amount. Just into that middle bit. So we get a nice gradient, so it's not suddenly going from light to dark, but it's, um, there we go. It's a bit of a smoother transition. Okay, so last, last bit that we need to do is, and I'm gonna use one of my thinner pieces of charcoal, is just going over again our lamp post that's got lost in, uh, in our dark night sky there. There we go. So I'm just gonna go over that again. Make sure I'm happy with the shape as I know Lynn's looking at hers. <laughs> if you wanna add any other bits on top, you can. But it's just about the impression of the shape. Um, <laughs> reminds me of the opening of Mary Poppins Returns. Yes, that's exactly it. This is our, that's what it is. It's our Mary Poppins lamp. Beautiful. Yes, oh, I love that film. Um, yeah, and a nice ombre, a nice ombre going on there. How are you doing? Happy? So again, the real trick to charcoal is um, more is more with charcoal. No less is more, more is more with charcoal. If you don't think it's dark enough, add more, add more. Keep adding it on top of it. Um, you do end up covered in uh, complete charcoal hands and everything else. Um, so uh, a little bit like Mary Poppins with the, uh, in the first one with the chimney sweeps, you end up completely covered. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great fun it's really good fun um thanks vicky lynn don't you dare put yours in the recycling you can work on top of it keep working on top of it um if you are worried about your about your work you're worried about how it looks honestly just work on top of it um again the nice thing about charcoal is that actually you can just get uh, a piece of the tissue paper and almost almost rub it out um, and then just work on top of it. It's a really um, nice way of working, actually. Um, <laughs> it's interesting the way we all get different things out of this lamppost. My dad's just said Jack the Ripper coming out of the gloom. So from Mary Poppins to Jack the Ripper, uh, lampposts can invoke, invoke all kinds of things. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Do not forget to take photos of your artwork and pop it below. Even if you don't like it, Lynn and Angie. Um, can't wait to see them. Can't wait to see them below. Uh, and do comment on other people's as well. Uh, what do else do I need to tell you? Tomorrow. So, whereas today we've used as much charcoal as we possibly can on the paper, tomorrow we're actually using very little um, and seeing what we can create with, with very little charcoal. Um, so, you'll need charcoal, you'll need a paper and the tissue. That's all you'll need tomorrow. Um, I think that's it. That's all I need to tell you guys. I hope you've have a, had a fabulous Monday um, and I hope you have a really good evening and I will see you guys at 2pm tomorrow. Bye!